Alrighty, chat, thanks for sticking around. Do appreciate y'all being here today on this fine, fine Tuesday. It's a little chilly here. But nonetheless, appreciate y'all being here. Thanks, chat. Um, This guy, I need this guy. He's going to the wrong, well, wrong place, but not wrong place. Need you to go to the reserve food factory now. Because the soup factory is full. Anyway, let's get back and talk to the boys. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Shalom. What's up? <laughs> uh, soup factory is full, apparently, by the way. So that's good, right? Yeah, that if you need to <clears throat> do an XML on something, it's that soup factory. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think I can. And then you, I think your storage is <laughs> taken care of. Uh, right. Actually, the one oh, I must hit the thing over here on my joystick. Um, the XML that needs to be edited is actually not the soup factory; it's the preserved food factories. Because they don't hold squat. And they go through it faster than the soup factory. Because the soup factory holds 450,000. Preserved food only holds 240,000. And uh, that's 100 to what? I guess these go through at the same rate, 100. Right. But, well, actually, if you do just like, that's 300 to one? Dang. I didn't realize that was so aggressive, but I guess that's 300. To, it's, it is, it's a wash. But it's all good. So preserve food, it is, and that's going to run, and I'm going to find um, one of these. One of these. All right, we'll run to our preserve food factory as well. Got to get that filled up, too. And it doesn't have auto drive to it yet. That's what I... Oh, I forgot to fix that yesterday, too. You know, Barrett, it was funny. We were talking earlier about my schedule for this week, right? Yep. And you said it's responsible. Right? Sure. Those Little do you know, what, used. what did I do yesterday? <laughs> I don't know. What, I was going to... Same thing I was doing? <laughs> Not a darn thing. <laughs> I mean, I played far. I worked on auto drive for a little bit. What did I do the rest of the day? Nothing. Literally scrolled my phone. Got the doom scroll going, you know. And yeah, it'll it'll get you. Yep. And then you look up and you're like, oh, it's been two hours. Where did where did that time go? That's kind of weird. Funny how time works, doesn't it? How it just disappears gone yep and to never be seen again we've been uh trying to organize the the garage right oh that's the yeah so i went out and i bought <laughs> i kid you not this is just like shelving and racks to hang stuff on i spent six hundred dollars at lowe's oh for shelves oh. okay and well racks and one car or two car garage it's a two car okay so do cars ever live in your garage or no no okay so i thought <laughs> with this nope. racking installed and shelving are cars going to live in your garage um they could okay but what i'm really trying to do is turn it into like a winter training facility oh for the softball stuff huh softball stuff yeah. So just and and we I mean the majority of the use that we get out not only is it storage but um we have like all of our all the like the kids birthday parties and stuff or yeah. Yeah, you know, we we'll have those out in the garage or you know sure. summer party pool parties we'll Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, pool. <clears throat> yeah, a little above know, ground yeah. pool. Yeah. Know. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Garages are, garages are awesome. They're they're really cool. Yeah. And like a basement I, I can't imagine like not having a basement, yeah, like living somewhere, you know. Right. Except for yeah, then your water heater fun. wouldn't be in the basement. It wouldn't be near the struggle to drag the dead one up the stairs. I'm just saying. 
Yeah. That'd be okay. Oh, you that. guys, you guys don't have an exit out of your basement outside of the in no. interior no, we, stairs. We, we don't have a lockout now. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a little room at the top of our stairs. We call it the back hallway. Okay, and it's got we have like a little bit of a built-in like pantry thing, little shelf thing. Mm -hmm. And then that room basically has four doors in it. There's a door going to the kitchen, a door going downstairs, a door coming out here to the garage, and a door going straight outside. So actually on the back of my house, there's two doors like within a foot and a half or two feet of each other. Because there's a door going from the back hallway outside and then a door going from the garage outside. Um, at one time, before my parents had this house, my room downstairs was actually used as a... Um, like a like a hairdresser, the, the lady had like a little salon going in the basement. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, she had like you know she'd cut people's hair and stuff in in my room. And so well, growing up, there was always a doorbell on the back of my house, and I always thought that was weird. But apparently, her clients they wouldn't go to the front door of the house; they'd come around back, ring the doorbell. Wow. And then they would just go in the house and straight down downstairs. And this is before my parents had the house. We're, we're technically second owners of this house, so. Um, kind of wild. I always thought that was kind of cool, but kind of weird at the same time, you know? So, yeah, if we need to take anything up and down the stairs, usually we have to open that door going outside. Um, now, we cheated because a water heater's not that big, physical size, 50-gallon water heater. Not that big, you know? So, we actually took it out through the kitchen, then out through the living room, and out the front door. <laughs> <laughs> we just cheated a little bit. So, it was fine. I mean, I had, we could have opened the door, and it would have been easier on the way up, because then you can keep the two-wheeler tip back as you're trying to come up, you know? Right. But Dad's like, ah, oh, we don't need to worry about that. Because then we got to fight two more stairs going down. And I said, yeah, but they're going down, so just let it fly. Who cares? It's a junk one. Who cares, you know? Apparently, somebody, because Dad took it to work, and the, the the boss guy scrap metals all the time, so he's going to get rid of it for us. There was a sticker on it said 1994. Ooh. So we got we got some pretty good years out of that bad you, boy. That's that's a that's 30 years worth of water heater. And considering, you know, yeah, there's only four people living in my house now, but like, there's always been you know lots of people. So yeah, there was like 17 of y'all or yep. something, you know. I mean, we had basically had a whole baseball team, you know. <laughs> ages ages might have varied a little bit there, but yeah, we right yeah. for five years there were nine people living in my house, one bathroom basically. There's a half bath downstairs, but huh. basically one bathroom, one shower. Oh. No, mm -mm. nine nope. people. Nope. First brother moved away when I was I was I was or for five years or five years yeah nine people. My first brother moved away when I was uh, five. So. Kind of wild, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe the next time my wife wife complains that we're taking up the bathrooms <laughs> or something, I'll say, "Hey, it could be worse. Just think about this." <laughs> John grew up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like back then when you'd be taking a shower and like a brother would come in to you know. Use the right. toilet. I didn't like that. I didn't know. I'm locking that door. But when I was a kid, the bathroom door locked. It didn't work. So, you know, if they had to go, they had to go. I didn't like that. I did uh, not a fan of that. So it's like you just you just learn to take really short showers. You know, just get in, get out, get your business done. You know, that's it. And that's that's just the way it is. So, but it made me the person I am today. Right. And now I just lock the door and take as long as shower as I want. Beam it out. Well, by the time I shower at night, nobody else is, a, you know, well, conscious I mean, you of gotta have your shower. You got to have your shower wine. You got to have your shower sandwich. <laughs> Sometimes that sandwich is better warm. You got to let it warm up under the hot water, you know? Yeah. But you actually, okay, go back to the, the water heater, right? Right. The old one had, like, this control box on top, and you could, like, turn it to vacation mode and you could like adjust the temperature with there were like two knobs on top right okay this new one there's nothing apparently the the heating elements have a thermostat right on them or next to them or something under like covers and they're factory set at 120 
Right. And if you want to adjust them, you got to take the cover off and you can adjust the individual elements if you want. Okay. Which I just thought that was kind of weird because we're like hooking this thing up and we're like, there's literally nothing to do. There's, you just hook up the two wires because, spoiler, the wire in my house is old and we don't have a ground wire. I say it's grounded through the water, through the pipes, you know, but anyway. That's it. Sure. Back in the day, that's all you needed, right? Yep. Copper's conductive. Exactly. And, uh, but yeah, I was like, this is kind of wild. You just hook it up. And once we had it full, just flip the breaker and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. So it was kind of wild. And then apparently I flipped one of the, I was flipping all the big breakers, right? Because ours aren't labeled at all. And, uh, apparently I flipped the uh, clothes dryer. So yesterday afternoon, my aunt goes, hey, what's wrong with the dryer? It won't turn on. I was like, ah, but I know what I did. Hang on, let me look at it. Sure enough, that breaker was turned off still. But that's okay. It's fine. It'll buff. Everybody, where are you stopping? I just want to turn. That's all I want to do. I don't know where you're getting parsnips from, or at least you think you are. Kind of emptied all of it, bro. Yeah. What yeah. I was saying about <clears throat> about time, right? You know, you'll sit on your phone for two, three hours, and it'll go by in a in a second, right? Yeah, feels that way. Yeah. And uh, whereas you know, I was out, I was out in the garage earlier this this afternoon, just rearranging some stuff, taking stuff off shelves, work, you know, just working, vacuuming, you know, using the shop back. What I thought I was out there for, you know, maybe an hour or so. Yep. I came back and it was like 15 minutes. <laughs> yep. I was like, what? <laughs> yep. I get that way all the time when I'm working on Christmas lights. It's like, oh, man, I've gotten a lot done in the, in this yeah, hour. Yeah, I've been and out here for a while. It's cold. You 10 know, you minutes. Get to catch a chill. Nope. <laughs> like, yeah, I think it's about time to go in. It's 3 o'clock. It's like, nope, not time to go in yet. It's not dark. <laughs> oh, man. Your garage insulated, Bear? Uh, yeah, most of it is, yeah. Is it? Okay. So it's not, like, super cold in there? Uh, I mean, it is. It, it was 45 in there earlier. Okay. That's... I have heat. I got heat and cooling in there, too. Oh, you got cooling in your eyes? I guess you go. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't work very well. Okay. But it's it's better than nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so they need so... preserved food or uh, parsnips up, up there. What do you got, like a window unit? Uh no, it's a it's got a heat pump in it. Um, oh, okay, but it you know I I just set it to like fifty five just to cut the chill off, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the... gotcha. Cool. My brother in law. One thing he always wanted was an insulated garage where you make like a woodworking shop, right? Right. Wood shop. So. Over the years that they've worked towards that at their house, it's a nice over little oversized two car garage, and uh, they work towards the whole you know insulating and it's all insulated, painted up nice, and you know all this stuff now. Well, then he decides he needs air conditioning, so he bought this giant window unit. But oh, the only geez. the only windows they have on their garage are facing the street. <laughs> okay, so they don't like that idea of keeping it just hanging out there all the time, right? Yeah. So he actually built a system that this air conditioner, and this thing's massive. It's 220. It gets huge, right? Mm -hmm. It is on drawer slides. So he can literally open the window and then slide this air conditioner in there and it seals and everything. And then he can run it. And then when he doesn't want it, he can just pull it back and then slide the window up. You're done. It's cool. That's kind of nifty. It's super cool. And he, like, 3D modeled this thing, and, like, he's all big into that. So, he did insulated garage is nice. I bet it is, Trent. <laughs> Mine kind of has insulation, but the problem is uh, old house, uh, no firewall between the uh, attic and the garage. So, that's just open, you know? So, um,. Yeah, until you close that up, it's not going to be a very well insulated uh, space, we'll say. Okay, so we need to move this waypoint, like way 
All of our parsnips are way down there, chat. So if we move that back there, that should work, hopefully. We get some parsnips out of here. Right, let's go up here and we'll reset this guy and see if that works. But yeah, it's it's a it's a really cool system. He's he's big into like he has ideas and then he'll get on the computer and he'll like make it in a 3D program. Like when he bought their house, when he, he bought the when they bought the house they have now, he literally went in the basement and measured every floor joist just to make sure that a they were 16 on center. Okay. Uh huh. And then like he put he put them all in like a 3D program. So if one's off a quarter inch, that's reflected in his program. You can't see me, but I'm shaking my head right now. I know, right? <clears throat> that's a little much. Yeah. Well, he's also the guy, I think I've told you about before, how we uh, we added structure to their dining. Well, it used to be a dining room. They changed it into like a mud room, laundry room type thing. Yeah. Yep. And we put like plywood between the floor joists on the bottom side. And then put two by fours on the sides of the floor joists to hold the plywood up, glued it all together, screwed it all together. Yeah, that was a process, let me tell you. That was an absolute nightmare. But that floor is it's strong now. There's no there's no soft spots in that floor anymore. That's for darn sure. Go truck, go truck, go truck, go. Oh. Alright, so the only thing factories need now is parsnips to uh the north the north uh preserve food, so I'll have that done in a jiffy between these two trucks. So, all right. My buddy Casey's always wanted to insulate his garage, and I'm like, Bro, you're not going to use it, so why? Right. <laughs> he does. It's just full of junk right now. He's got a car in there that's like his parents that they don't use. The whole thing. Which, actually, okay. A Chrysler Seam Ring Bear. Yeah. Okay. It, if it's not a convertible, don't talk to me about it. It's a convertible. All right. Can't you imagine Tony rolling up to work at the co-op? <laughs> You've got to be <laughs> With that mustache hanging out the top of the Bro. convertible. Come on. In the summertime, maybe like a like a tank top, you know, was like oh maybe some God. aviators. Guns out, guns out. You know. <laughs> maybe a pit, maybe pit vipers. I, I yeah, we can arrange that. I think he has some, doesn't he? I think so. He's got the same pair I do. Yeah. Yeah, we have matching pit vipers. <laughs> Could you imagine? I would be all about it. <clears throat> I would pay money for a picture of that, by the way. <laughs> all right. So let's see. Do we need... What do we... Do we have any... Okay, we barely have any barley, so we should probably plant some barley today. Uh, maybe not all of our fields, but a couple fields in barley at least. Come next year in game, we need to plant potatoes and either canola or sunflowers for. Actually, I I can't stand growing canola. We're gonna do sunflowers. Canola's take canola takes too long. We're gonna do sunflowers. They take a while, but like that's fine. You, you just need a different head. Yeah, that's that's fine. But you have money. We have 2.5 mil right now, and we'll be getting a lot more by the time we fast time. So I think we need to plant at least a couple fields in barley. Okay. You're going to do the uh, oil, sunflower oil? Yeah, because for, we... For the taters? Exactly, for the taters. Yeah, we need, uh, we need oil, sunflower <clears throat> oil. We can do that. Hashtag for the taters. So I, I don't know... Um, are these all lit up? I don't know if there's an oil mill on this map. I don't think there is. We were talking about that the other day, and I don't, I don't think there is. Um, but we do have to move our stuff from our flour mill, which that is full right now. So that needs to get moved. Is the bakery in need of flour? Not really. So never mind. 
At, at John, absolutely no. No, we're not doing we're not doing olive oil, all right? That is no. I will plant you olives and buy, you can buy all the equipment you can do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> no, thank you. No, we're we're going to do sunflower sunflower oil. That's what we're going to do. But all in good time. We got to grow the taters first and the sunflowers, so we will be okay. All right, I'm going to go get that factory filled up, though. That's my, my main goal right now is to get that factory full. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. By the way, I did say something to dad about the water heater, those electric uh, instant ones, and how they need two 40 amp breakers. And he's like, yeah, no, no. On second thought, you'll pass. Exactly, John. That's a lot of electricity. I'm just saying. Two 40s. We don't have. No. Our box is full. On truck. I want him to go for it. Oh, it doesn't matter who goes first. He's going to go first, though. Don't think I'll be able to pass him in time. No. Oh, boy. Oh. Remember, chat. Yeah, Friday night, we're playing ATS. It might look just like that. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It happens, right? Definitely happens. All right, so is this factory actually going to get full? Full enough? It's not going to be full, but it'll be full enough. Okay, so we want to take this guy and we will go from there, there. So I guess we need to grab some tractors and cedars. Start working on that, huh? I plant a few fields of barley. How did I? How did I miss that? Much better. Much, much better. Oh, goodness. Is it time to upgrade our planners, chat? Could be. Alright. All right. Oh, there you're good, man. You're good. You're good. Missed the spot. Yeah, John, I don't know how. All right, so hold up. Let's look at our seeding capabilities currently. So we are nine meters wide, nine miles per hour. Nine and nine. I'm wondering if we step up to 12 meters at nine miles an hour with the horse. This is the horse, the avatar. And we can get a little more. I think we do this. Difference there. It 
doesn't actually do any difference. It adds money, but two thousand dollars. Oh, it's like two towers or four. We'll go two. Okay. All right. We're going to upgrade our cedars, y'all. Cedars have been upgraded. Let's go. Yeah, we'll sell the old ones. Might as well. Let's do it, John. Let's do it. We need to put in a uh, tank, a seed thing somewhere, too. Right now, we don't really have a way, though. Store seed. To buy seed in bulk. We just have the uh, bags. And bags are fine, but they're kind of slow. Ah, look at those buttes. I haven't actually really used those, so this should be fun. This should be a good time. I'm not worried about doing the little trick to make money. Don't need to be worried about that. Hey, it's the UPS guy. Or if it's a mine or something. My brother. I'm wondering if we can put this bad boy over here somewhere. Because this will be out of our way. For now, anyway. For now. Thanks so much for having money, Chad. Uh, yes, I would like to purchase seed. Or wood. If this thing holds fertilizer too. I don't think that's mine. Whatever that guy's got. Uh, this thing holds fertilizer. I did not anticipate this holding fertilizer, to be honest. Um... You talking to bro. <laughs> um. Sure. Probably put these down in our new homestead too. Interesting. These things hold all the fertilizer. Holy cow. All right. Uh, barley. Do some planting. This does have the, okay. Hold on. Yes, okay, that does that thing. Okay, that Brian Brown that I talk about watching on YouTube, he's got one of these. Look at the lights up there. That's kind of cool. Hmm. The more you know. Pretty neat. All right. Okay, it's time to go back and forth. It's not bad. 38.40 on uh, fertilizer and 33.60 on seed. Not bad. Oh, it makes noises too. All right. What fields? Ah, probably this whole north zone, John. Uh, yeah, let's just do this north chunk. Everything north of the road that we own here. Just do them all.
Okay, so my fertilizer is not working. I'm going to be honest here. That's not working. Yeah, fertilizer's not working, which is fine. If we have to fertilize later, that's whatever. It doesn't matter. That's definitely not working. Don't really know why it should be. That is weird. That is very strange. It's working a little bit in some areas. Because barley is definitely more fertilizer than what it's putting down. But I mean, at least we're seeding. Oh, that's, that's the reason. Outdated data. That would be the reason for uh, not working. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. All right. I was really wondering, I'm like, there's no way this thing doesn't work, right? That's wild. All right, now we're going through the fertilizer, so that's good. Dude, don't see. Like Dave's running around doing factory work. Appreciate it. Probably have stuff to sell again too, don't we? Maybe not. Definitely not. Okay. This thing has the noises, y'all. All the noises. All right. Easy. I've noticed that with some of this DLC stuff, it seems like it has a lot more just sounds in general than some of the in-game equipment does. Like one of the Govile, or maybe all the Govile uh, wrappers and stuff. Like these guys, they've got tons of hydraulic sounds to them. They sound really good too. Like I feel like they kind of worked on that with some of the DLC stuff compared to the in-game. Okay, so definitely gonna need seed or fertilizer in a reasonable. And we could put that front hopper on. That would help with our seed anyway. That might have been might have been something delivered for me. All right, Dave, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy. What was that? What did I order that was in that kind of package? Don't you love when you forget what you ordered from Amazon and then it just shows up and you're like, I don't have, I have a clue what that is. Not a clue. No, I'm not the only one. Let's see. Mm. Hey, John. What's up? Just FYI, you were going through fertilizer when you were outside of the field. Oh, was I? Yep. Just FYI. That's fun. Yeah, I was still counting down. Oh, then that thing I ordered is not what I thought I ordered then. Whoops. <laughs> so what you're saying is I should raise up, huh, Bear? That's what he's saying. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> but you're I just going to use more fertilizer. That's true. Fair play. Okay. Boy, that, uh, that booster sure looks good sitting on that orbital launch mount right now. Crazy thing, it's only been a couple months, and they're like, let's start testing again. Roll another one. 
kind of wild. Actually, some thought. We have the horse. So that'll hold seed or fertilizer. It won't hold both, though. But I could put fertilizer in the front box. That would help me seed more. But then when we go to plant root crop, the fertilizer will be in the way, and yeah, it's a whole thing. Or I just run out of fertilizer on purpose, which is normally what we do. And then fertilize later with a spreader. It's faster. Not a big deal. It's a nice eater, though. Definitely a nice eater. Love the lights on there. It's like a spaceship. Because spaceships have lights. Oh yeah, you're not kidding about the fertilizer, yep. <clears throat> yep. And since I tend yep. to turn around not in fields and just dry, you know, kind of an issue. Huh? Right, we'll probably just run out and keep seeing. Because it's faster to just spread it later. Not a big deal. Those lights remind me of uh, <clears throat> the UFO that came, that comes to get uh, E.T. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I have seen that bear, but it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time for me, too. Okay. Just want to clarify, because, you know, if you mention something, most of the time I haven't seen it, you know? He says, like, phone home, right? Yep. And they remastered the video, or the, the movie, and got rid of all the guns. Did they really? And replaced them with walkie-talkies, yeah. You didn't know that? Nope. Nope. That happened no. a long time ago. Yeah. I guess like all the guards, or I, I don't know. They all had guns, but they like got rid of it. But walkie talkies, it's a whole thing. George Lucas was probably involved, you know? <laughs> yeah, well. With all his remastering have, of everything. <clears throat> I have that. I have uh, comments for that, but not for string. <laughs> Leave it alone, George. Yeah. The Reddity now! <laughs> wow. E.T. Oh, no. Just E.T. It's not called E.T. You e e know, E.T. Extraterrestrial. Is that what it stands for? Yep. And right. I believe the, the, the title is E.T. Extraterrestrial. Is it really? Yeah. All right. He regrets altering the original movie. Wait, which one? Did they shoot first? Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, Spielberg. So that would okay for ET. I got gotcha. you. I assume. Yeah, George Lucas with all his remastering of the Star Wars movies. Like, just leave it alone, bro. I don't know. I don't know what year they altered. Um, they altered that. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just remember hearing that they altered it. It might have been like before it even came out. I don't know. And, and so I'd have to Google and where's Figures Bull at? <laughs> I know, right? I haven't seen. I haven't seen it around lately. Hmm. I should snap and be like, "Yo, I need. I need something Googled." <laughs> Uh, you got time to bing this for me real quick? Yeah, can you can you search this up for me real quick? Let me know. Get back to me. Hey, I know you and Jeeves are close. Can <laughs> you ask him something for me? <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine if, like, Ash Jeeves was the winner in the whole, like, yeah. search engine? Like, if it was as popular as Google is right now? Oh, yeah. Instead of us saying, oh, just Google it. We, we just, would all be saying, oh, just Jeeves it. Just ask Jeeves. Just Jeeves. Yeah, just yeah. ask Jeeves. Jeeves, Jeeves knows. You'd have an app called Jeeves, you know? Yep. Bro, that would be wild. Jeeves mail. <laughs> Jeeves mail. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, I got a mail from Jeeves. Jeeves let me Jeeves let me know I had a new email. Wow, thanks, Jeeves. 
God. Remember when you used to call movie phone? Oh my God. Ever do that? God. Did, did you ever <laughs> call time throwback. and temperature? No, but I definitely called movie phone. You never called time and temperature? Uh-uh. We had a radio. <gasps> we didn't care about that. Bro, if you need to know the time or the temperature, you just call. And it would tell you the time and the temperature. Weird. For the 20th anniversary. Brought it back for the 30th anniversary. Oh, wow. This whole, this whole thing, it's, there's a whole story there. Okay. Interesting. That's wild. Wait a minute. You think it's just all one big uh, conspiracy? So you have to buy like three different copies of the movie? <laughs> what is it? GTA 5? <laughs> Speaking of that, did you know that since the GTA 6 trailer, and I guess we've talked about GTA a little bit, that's probably why. I'm getting nonstop GTA 5 ads on YouTube right now. Oh, really? Nonstop. Yeah. And did you... Okay, so PlayStation came out and said that they're going to have a PlayStation 5 Pro. Did you hear that? I did not hear that. Well, Microsoft was like, yeah, we're not doing a Xbox Series X or whatever the current one is. Yeah. Pro, we're not doing that, right? Instead, they just came out and said, yeah, we're working on the next-gen console. It's going to come out two years earlier than it was supposed to. Wow. But they're talking 2025 for that, which is interesting because that's what's going to happen. What's going to happen? It's going to come out in 25, right? Uh-huh. When does GTA 5 or GTA 6 come out? 24. Uh-huh. So people on console and GTA is not going to launch on PC. It's not going to launch on PC. It's going to be console exclusive. Okay. Because apparently uh, gamers on PC are too cheap and we wait for sales and we don't buy games at cost is what I've been, what I heard. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't buy that. I'm sorry. You don't buy that? Okay. So hear me out. No. If, if, the, if GTA comes out console exclusive. <clears throat> right. Okay. And, and then Xbox Heat. Xbox, yeah, go ahead. And then magically, a year later, Xbox is going to come out with a new console. Guess what you'll have to buy again in a year? You're going to have to buy GTA 6 twice in a year. I... If you want to no, play it on the new be, console. No, it'll be... Oh, because no. it's gonna. It's not going to be optic drive. Exactly. Oh, my. Think about that. They're totally going to do that. Oh, God. They're totally doing that. I guarantee it. I guarantee this is going to happen. No, because you're, no, your no, your gamer tag, your gamer tag, your, your yeah. gold account or live account or whatever they call it now, yeah. right? Yeah. Will show that you own that game so but, you can reinstall it. But what if there's a higher quality version that comes out with the new or, gen? Right. Or if, if it's not backwards compatible. Exactly. Right? Which it will be because the published the, the game developers aren't going to develop or be able to develop a game for the new xbox you know 1080 or whatever they call it now right well wow. um but like i remember buying it for my 360 and then i remember buying it for my one i had to buy it on both back in the day see i don't remember that oh yeah oh yeah and then i bought it for pc i bought i've purchased gta three times gta five three times yeah so I guarantee that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna be like, "Oh well, there's this ne these next gen consoles. Well, if you want the better graphics, you gotta buy the game again." Guarantee it. That's what's gonna happen. Watch, chat. Mark my words. Clip it and ship it. Let's go, boys. Um, <laughs> I, I do like the fact that Xbox is going out of sequence. Yeah. That's... I think they got their rear end handed to them by PS5. Yeah. Yeah, and they said we need to go out. We we can't go head to head anymore. They no. they have to come out with something earlier. They need to stagger it. Yeah, which yep. means then when the next console comes out, you're gonna be behind when the next PlayStation Seven. You know, but I don't know. I mean, a console's outdated in six months anyway. In a way, you know. Oh. Says the guy sitting on his same video card for a couple of years now, but it, whatever. Well. It's yeah, outdated I mean, too. So, 
there's a there's a curious there's a curious strategy with it, right? Because yeah, you you get ooh, you know, ooh, fresh, new, mm-hmm. right? You get the 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 PlayStation people are still going to be PlayStation people. Yeah. The people that always get both will get both. Yeah, yeah. But that's at some point you're going to drop in usership yeah. because the PS6 will come out. Right? I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of lot of data out there that'll Xbox owns most of the gaming studios these this day. Yeah, they do. They own a lot. Get an early beta console, maybe. I don't know. I mean it's it's interesting. I'm just glad that I don't have a console, but I guess I just won't be able to play GTA when it comes out, but whatever. I don't really I don't play it. Where now. did you where did you hear this console players are cheap? No, oh, PC gamers are cheap. I mean, uh, that's what I'm at. PC gamers. Uh, it was a sub like TikTok thing, it, but it made sense because like they had data, and I don't know where this data came from. I'll be transparent, but like, how many of copies of games are actually like paid full price for on PC, and then yeah. like how many copies come from quote other sources, and then like how many come from like sales, you know. Microsoft owns 23, Sony owns 17, wow. But I mean, it, it makes sense, because like, you know, Steam Steam sales are huge, you know? No, I agree, and I, if it's a game that I'm on the fence about... I'll wait. I will wait for a sale. Yep. If it's a tent pole, Yeah. Right? If it's like an Assassin's Creed, or <clears throat> God forbid... God forbid, um, you know, the new God of War come out on PC, right? Or okay. Ghost of Tsushima. Or yeah, you're, you're not even going to think about it. You're going to buy it. No, I'm not going to think twice. I'm plopping down my credit card and being yeah. done with it. Yeah. Right? Um, because those are a really good games. I mean, I paid, I paid full freight for The Last of Us. Yeah. And then... Literally two days later, it went on sale. <laughs> <laughs> but right, it, but it, I, you know, I wanted to play it. Like, right? like I mean, let's say the next flight sim. Okay. And, which is supposed to have better physics, better graphics. Of course, it's going to have a career kind of story mode to it. God, I'm going to need a turbo fans. Well, so here's the thing. It's like, okay, I enjoy current flight sim. I don't think I've gotten my money's worth out of it. I mean, my hours are high, but most of that is downloading, <laughs> right. especially the first download. You know, it was yeah, awful. All that's all that's update time. Yeah. Yeah, update time down exactly. So it's like, I don't know that I can justify the next flight sim. I mean, I'll probably stream it if I get it, but like, I don't know if I can really justify that. So okay, do I wait for a sale? But that could be a while. But I don't know. It just depends. I don't know. Flight Sim's a game where it depends, like, who else gets it, you know? Right. If a bunch of, bunch of the boys get it, then I kind of might have to. But if not, then you probably won't. I mean, look at Farm Sim. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Farm Sim. We, I mean, everybody, everybody. <laughs> pre-ordered. <laughs> pre-orders it. I mean, it's. Yeah. Yeah, there, um, there's a lot of people that hold out, though. There were a lot of people in chat back in the day that were like, ah, I'm waiting for a sale. But the same thing with Call of Duty. How many PC yeah. players are playing the, the new Call of Duty right out the box, right right away, right? True. I mean, it's... True. Like I said, I, I, I'm not buying the fact that the people who are buying, thir- paying, you know, $2,200, $2,500 to build their machines... Yeah. Oh are cheap when it comes to a 60 70 dollar game i think what probably skews the numbers a lot is that a lot of games do get sold on sale because people buy them because like oh it's on sale i mean well yeah you scroll your steam library right now i guarantee there's games you bought on sale that you've never played um i'm guilty of it yeah maybe not never played but like played for a couple hours i've never set it to the side (laughs) i've never loaded some games (laughs) oh gosh (laughs) <laughs> that's just wasteful i know i know i know that's like girl math john come on but like it's for stream so it's okay 
but I never played it. It's a write-off. <laughs> Stuff you buy on sale is mainly extras. You would never buy. Okay, see, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Modern Warfare Remastered. Interesting. Okay. Same. They should be happy they get those stats instead of calling me cheap. Okay, thrifty, is that better? Gosh. Frugal. <laughs> Frugal. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's, you know, he who dies with the most things in his Steam library wins, right? Well, we, I think we have to catch Black Cat. Yeah, Black Cat wins. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that guy has got, got what was that like seventy two different games or something he's stupid got like that? All he's the got things in his library. Of games. It's bad. I thought I had a lot. No, not at all. I don't have nothing compared to him. Like I bought that Lethal Company game. I, maybe someday I'll play it. I, I don't know. I I, I mm. bought it because the guys wouldn't shut up about it. You know. I don't have any. I don't have anything nice to say about that game just because I don't know enough about I it. I just but don't understand it. I. You know, I don't know. Like, I guess I I only watched a little bit. You know, and I've never I haven't played it yet. But someday I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Leonard play it because he said he would play. So I'm gonna make him play it someday. I don't know when. Probably now on stream either. You know, and it's weird for me because I have like things I have to like for stream, like farm sim. Obviously, I'm gonna buy that, right? And I would buy that if I wasn't streaming. But like it's weird, like a game like Railroader, where I kind of bought that more so for me, but like I'll probably take that to stream eventually, mm -hmm. or like I'm playing it right now just off stream for me. Storms has eight hundred. What? Storms. Say what? Do we need to talk? That's not installed, right? I hope not. That's because four hundred. And 64 in your Steam library. 820. That's I think, a lot. I think I have like 10. Where does it even tell you? 64. Thanks. Now, are you... Do you have the little play thing clicked or... or... Play thing. Yeah, is that is that everything oh. or that's, is that just installed? Oh, uh, 64 is everything. Okay. All right. There's probably some stuff that I have hidden that's not showing on there. Like, there was, yeah, different demos or something over the years. I don't know. That's crazy. Mr. Yudikis has 300. Wild see, now, now you're going to make me, see, now you're making me curious. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Starbs did the humble bundle thing for a while. Okay. Yeah, I've never done any of that. Yeah. Is that like uh, Columbia House from back in the day? What? Like a CD program where you just buy it? You... Kind of. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Four fifty. John has ninety three. I have thirty eight. John, I'm just I, fertilizer ran out. I'm just gonna keep going. Catch up, rookie. Jeez. Who me? Me. I got thirty eight. <laughs> <clears throat> and I've only been I've only been PC gaming for a little over two years wait did you start around like farm sometime so I started it was during COVID when I built my computer okay. actually hold on when did I create my Steam account you Thanks guys are with... you guys are baby gamers <laughs> Um, my wheelhouse is very narrow, okay? I mean, it really is. I mean, okay, you could add, I own a couple things through Microsoft, I guess. Uh, like for PC, like Sea of Thieves. I used to play Sea of Thieves. Um, what's another oh, one? I mean, I own like SnowRunners through Epic, not Steam. Which I don't really... I need. I would love to play SnowRunner again. Maybe I need to try it on the new internet. I don't think I have, because it was always such a multiplayer nightmare. 
But I love SnowRunner. SnowRunner's such a good game. You got hundreds of games, not many on Steam. I think I only had like 50 games on Xbox back in the day. <laughs> when did you start it? Uh, oh, okay. All right. I'm just, I'm a baby gamer. Leave me alone. <laughs> now, if we're counting like, you know, old PlayStation games and stuff, you know, and old Nintendo games, now we can talk, but. So, yeah. I don't know where to find it. But there's manage account, account details. What are you looking for? Okay, on? hold on a second. Steam, hold on. Uh, uh, but yeah, I've never done the humble, humble, humble bundle. I've never done any of that stuff yet. Um, all your old PlayStation games got destroyed by your kids. Well, how dare they? How dare they? All right. View purchase history. So that'll tell me. Oh. Okay. Because, like, you came in my community. You, like, you started here at Poopalow, like, right before uh, 22, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I was around, but I wasn't very active until right about hit, then. Hit, uh, just type something in chat real quick. I'm going to stock your Twitch account. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, right. April 22nd, first... 2001. But you made your account November you mean... 29th, 2017. Wow. What? You made your account in 2017. You mean 2021? It says 2017. Yeah. 2021 was when I was following you. Yeah, 2021 is when you followed me. Oh, okay. You said 2001. I'm like, that's yeah, impossible. Bear, Bear is so good, he was there before Twitch. That's right. But you you made your account back in 2017. Okay. Is that accurate? I, I suppose I suppose it is. All right. So my first PC, my first Steam purchase, yeah, was May 3rd of 21. And you started following me April 22nd. That's somebody in my family's birthday, by the way. Ooh. <laughs> One of the four April birthdays. I'll go back, Dave, by the way. I don't know if he's actually here or just kind of here. Your account was created right after Twitch became Twitch. Uh, 2014. Good Lord. It's always funny looking at people's chat like history or pulling up their like card on Twitch and it just says like message sent 999 plus. Like I wish you would actually tell like just put like a 1 and a K or a 1.5K like 2K. Just give us that kind of range would be nice. Like that'd be close enough, you know. That's okay. We're going to have to go get seed. That's all I know. Running a little shy chat. Just a little. What was your first purchase on Steam Bear? It was Valheim. Really? <clears throat> yeah, my uh, my youngest brother is a uh, is a big PC gamer. Okay. So at the time, he was really the only one that kind of would play that I would play with. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I played Valheim for a little bit. I think I may have played with him. In one session, maybe two, and gotcha. that's it. I haven't played. I don't play. Our our gaming interests don't really cross. Oh wow, huh. yeah. I guess my brother and I are pretty similar. He would not play a simulator game if I like forced him to. Right. He's like Call of Duty guy still. I guess I don't know. I haven't actually talked to him in a while about gaming, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. my my brother's got his own little you know group of friends, and they do their thing. So yep, yep, that's the way my brother is too. Where he met his wife, hmm. playing Call of Duty. <laughs> like no joke either. That's how he met his wife. Every gamer boy's dream. Dream right there, right? <laughs> 
I'm still holding out hope, you know? I, so many comments. <laughs> so many comments. Yeah, it's okay. Keep them to yourself. Um, do they do global zybots anymore? I have no idea. I, see, I'm the direct opposite of that, though. Like, What's that? I, I Listen, I love my wife. Oh, love you want death. gaming to be like your time? I need, I need my time. Sure. Like this is me. This is me, turning off the world. That includes my spouse. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I can see that. Right. So. <laughs> you're st you're telling me you don't need an auger wagon driver? Because man. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. I'm, I just mentioned I was out in the garage this afternoon for yeah. what what felt like three hours, but it was 20 minutes. <laughs> Let's just say, put if you put two and two together, you could probably figure out why it felt like three hours. Gotcha. The wife was helping. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? She was out there in those flip-flops. Was she really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was out there and like, you know, my boat shoes and she was out there in, in those flip flops. I'm like, well I looked at I looked down and saw her feet. I was like, well, at least somebody's getting use of them. <laughs> That's awesome. Your wife binge watches Netflix and you game. There you go. Oh yeah, she does she, you know all those like bad CW shows? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That she's all about it. I'm just saying, all they do in the girl, Gilmore Girls, all they do is talk. There's no, like, anything more than that. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mom used to watch this show. Yeah, my mine's on... My wife's on the va Vampire Diaries now. Oh. Every time I come in, come into the room, or she's always watching that, and yeah. I'm like, oh, all right, see ya. I'm out. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, apparently I have to wait for it to unfold, huh? Didn't know that. All right. Tell you what I do now. I was, I ran out just a little bit. But we're chilling now. We are chilling. We, we, we are farmers. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Dave, nice to join us, by the way. We're almost done. <laughs> but Dave's here to help, chat. Dave, just show up in the last 10 minutes and say, see? I was here. I helped. It's shake and bacon. I helped. Oh, man. That's funny. You like the cedar? It's not bad. Uh, capacity could be a little bit better, but like other than that, not bad. Oh, I just landed a drone at Starbase. Let's go. No, it doesn't plant potatoes. No. Nope, it does not. It's a, it's a, from the horse DLC, actually, the horse, uh, Whatever they call that the DLC. Aggravation. Aggravation. That's the one. Still not sure why they call it that, but okay. No, yeah, that one. That's all right. Definitely a little bit bigger than the last seater that we had. Same miles per hour. So we're getting the job done. Uh, honestly, if I was going to like start or buy a rig, I would probably buy the front tank that goes with the other horse seeder, but it would work with this one uh, for more seed. And then just don't worry about fertilizer, just seed only. And then you'd be able to seed a lot more without having to stop. But that's not bad. I mean, we, we John and I were able to seed all this with just the two of us. So that ain't bad. That's a fair bit of land we covered. So, not bad at all. To be honest. Yeah, but you can fur it with a big spreader. No big deal. You know. Even end game spreader, like, it's 
It's not that bad. Which we we have to do anyway for like our root crop stuff. So we're we're used to doing that, you know. They're definitely used to doing that. First F. Lego Fortnite. It was funny. Wow. Ads are funny now. That's cool. That's good. Oh man, what time is it, chat? Four twenty-two. Let's go. Five o'clock somewhere. Maybe I don't. Know. I don't. Know. So bear. I don't know if bear's here right now. I am. What's up? So is the garage organization? Is this your idea or somebody else's? <clears throat> uh, it's mine. Okay. Um. And I have a feeling that what I'm truly doing it for that person's not really going to appreciate it and it's going to go all for not but regardless <laughs> it, it need it needs to be like it needs to be organized it needs to be done anyway yeah yeah we've got so much just junk Dump. just laying around and I've got ice skates like hockey like I, I got a pair of uh, hockey skates that I haven't used in probably 10 years gotcha sitting in there and just you know yeah uh, just junk and just you know stuff that we'll never look at again it and just so accumulates doesn't it it's 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 tragic but yeah. um so we're gonna do the garage kind of get it all straightened out then we have a little shed on the other side of the garage that we're gonna convert just for lawn and garden stuff and that's got the majority of our tupperware boxes you know with all the keepsakes and the, ah. you know junk and the junk on top of the junk and then <laughs> so we're going to do that next and, and just kind of start yeah I, I don't know if I, I don't know if you subscribe to this but like decluttering your life like yeah and, but like and having have like going not necessarily being a minimalist yeah but having less things around you and in your life it, it actually like for me it makes me feel better yeah but then like the sentimental stuff kicks in for me well no that's fine i mean you keep you some know. of that stuff but like I, why yeah. do i need like why do i need a corona beer stein from 10 years ago as a gift hey, somebody gave me as a gift oh, a... right like I, I i don't need that like Somebody gave me like a, a a Das Boot beer glass, right? Okay. You you don't know what that is. No, because um, <laughs> you've never seen Beer Fest. Um, <laughs> so, but like I don't need that. I get it right. Like let's get rid of it. Let's see. Yeah. See if we can't do a yard sale or just just the Steins are trash cool. it. Like yeah. Well, it'd be one thing um, if you used it, but like. Oh no! It's been sitting. I know exactly where it is. Yeah. It's in my shed, in a green Tupperware. In the bottom with a couple high school yearbooks, a coconut from the same trip that's got a painting on it, and like some other just random junk that I don't. It literally just sits in the shed. Like, why? Yeah, yeah. I don't need it. Yeah. I think I, I get in the mood of like chuck it, whatever. There's like flood preparations going on at the farm. Because basically, whenever there's flood prep, it either it either there's three places you go with stuff. At least for our farm, right? It either gets put up in the loft in the shed, mm -hmm. it gets hauled out on a trailer, or it goes to a fire. Because you don't want to leave a lot of just stuff laying around to get wet, and then it's a bigger mess to clean up. So, one of those three things has to happen. Like, there's been a lot of stuff over the years, it's like fire 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 and it's not always the best but you know it happens right right yeah and i think i have like three different leaf blowers electric leaf blowers like what why am i gonna need you sound three like electric leaf dad. blowers I, i'm <laughs> just, just just junk accumulates yeah but thank you i'll, I'll take it actually he <laughs> he's on a mission right now to round up all of his leaf blowers this winter 
Well, because, you, you know, he gets them through work, right? So, like, somebody will bring in a leaf blower and maybe uh, it needs $100 in parts. I might as well just, you know, spend 200 buy a brand new one, right? Right. So, he gets a lot of that kind of stuff, and sometimes it find its way, finds its way to the farm. You know, it just does, right? And uh, so, like, the other day we were over at Casey's getting that water heater, and Dad goes, hey, whose blower is that? And Casey's like, well, I don't own any gas equipment, so it's not mine. And Tad's like, well, I didn't know I had an echo blower. <laughs> <laughs> so we reclaimed an echo blower that's, that's been like, in Casey's that's garage. Like, <laughs> that's like finding 20 bucks in like your suit pocket. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> and Tad never knew he had an echo blower sitting over there. <laughs> right. Like, well, how long has that been there? I don't know. <laughs> so he's, he's kind of, you know, and like we have some Husqvarna blowers and it's like well this one has a bad ignition module but this one has a, has a bad carburetor and it's like oh my god just get rid of them but between all of them you have one working blower right no we probably have like I, I bet dad owns because he technically owns them all he probably owns like four or five that work but he owns like ten total <laughs> you know and it's like what a collection you know for a while, it was tillers, and then my one brother made him feel bad about that, so he quit collecting tillers as much. And... Well, here. I have a... <laughs> well, it sounds like your dad's got a little bit a touch of what my father has, which is... No, 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 I'm going to use that for this. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. And then it just kind of just sits there for years? I took a picture a while back, and I never posted, of our trimmer rack that he built at the farm. The string trimmers are another one too. Where sometimes he'll get one so in you have, a few dollars. You have two string trimmers, right? Because there's two of you that do all the lawn work at, or, mostly, together. Mostly he does all the trim and I don't do any trim. Right. <laughs> Alright, John, I'm good. Uh, da, 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 da. Hang on. Where's the picture at? Here it is. Yeah, I'll post it in general on Discord. <laughs> uh, yeah you, that is you know we might need well, all this top one, well here's the thing you need the top one because that's your that's your limmer but we right? can change that to a, a saw blade or a trimmer no no well. no but you keep that dedicated as your as your limmer that's fine that makes sense to me it has a saw blade and then on it now, like a and then you blade. take and then you take and there's room for get, another one on the rack too it's just not there you take if you like if you like the uh straight 45 shaft, shaft, shaft. Mm -hmm. Straight draft or button shaft, right? Yep. yep. And get one or one of each, and then just get rid of the other two. <laughs> and what's not seen in that photo is the one we actually use when we mow, like here in town. <laughs> it's in the other shed. The one we actually use. Yeah, the one we actually use. And then my brother has one that's the same as the one that I have. And then I think that's it. So there's there's three more not seen in that photo. Yeah. <laughs> Little note at the bottom, also not pictured. <laughs> Honorable mentions. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Dave is just about done with the fertilizer. GG's Dave. And the factories are all done. So, oh, and this guy, this guy's still hauling, huh? Or has he just been circling with parsnips? He is, oh, I have him set to go to the wrong. Oh, that's right. I don't know. Not sure. But yeah, so that's that's our uh, trimmer collection, spring trimmers. And out of all of those, the very top one, he paid a guy like 50 bucks for that one. And then my trimmer is the one that we use like here in town. Those are the only two that we've actually paid money for. Hmm. The rest of those have found their way to the farm because they needed something and a customer didn't want to put the money in to fix it because labor is a huge part of that, obviously. And well, if dad does it, it's free because it's right. dad's time at the farm, you know? So it's a little, uh, a little bit different. Who the heck pulled up in my house? That. Who are you? Who that? Oh, legit, who is that? 
Uh, have to go see who this. Is. I'll be right back. I don't know who that is. I think I know who that is. I have to. I'll be right back, boys. 